Dan here again with Morning Devotions. Um, <coughs> today, excuse me, is the 19th day of Easter, and it is April the 30th today, 2020. And so I would invite you to just take a moment and step aside from whatever you're doing, and uh, if you're able to, and just uh, hear God's invitation for us. This is what Jesus says to his disciples and to us in John 11, 25 to 26. I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Our Bible song this morning comes from Psalm 83, verses 1 to 4 and 17 to 18. O God, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O God. See how your enemies growl, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation so that Israel's name is remembered no more. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. And our Bible reading, Today comes from John 21, verses 1 to 14. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Galilee. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, also known as Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them, and they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize it was Jesus. He called out to them, Friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken it off, and jumped into the water. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish, for they were not far from the shore, about a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there with fish on it and some bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter climbed aboard and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153, but even with so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dare ask, dared ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came, took the bread, and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus had appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. What stood out for me this morning was the reality that we have um, we have a battle, but it's not against people in this world. It's against the powers and principalities of Satan and his dominion and his, his demons and so on. And so when we read in the Psalms about enemies, it's quite true that David was often talking about real human enemies. But it's also true that we're speaking of real enemies spiritual enemies. And, uh, 
And so when Jesus appears to the disciples after his death and resurrection, it seems to me that he is he's helping the disciples to fight those real spiritual enemies, the spiritual enemies of their doubt and, and uh, their shame and their uh, discouragement and, and despair. He is helping them to fight those enemies so that they can fight the powers of darkness <laughs> throughout this world. And I'm so grateful for that in so many ways. It gives me comfort that Jesus will be there too for me to help me fight my spiritual enemies. Anyway, that's what popped out for me. Let's pray. Resurrected Lord, your crafty Holy Spirit gets into the deepest places of human lives, loosing locked-down hearts and softening crusty ones. You turn evil to good, overhauling stubborn resistance into a life yielded to you, so that I, so that we, produce good fruit. I praise you for this surprising good work. Amen. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. Amen. Have a good day and be blessed.